Hello, on December 17th, 2012, the messenger angel of God brought on this message to Benjamin Kosainzen. Shalom, I greet you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. My name is Matula. I am a messenger angel of God. Verily, beloved in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Psalm 81, verse 2. Raise a song and bring here the tambourine the pleasant lyre with the harp. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 29. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 33 and 34. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he comes to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. 1 John 2, verse 20 You have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know the truth. 1 John 2, verse 27 As for you, the anointing which you received from him remains in you, and you don't need for anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and is no lie, and even as it taught you, you will remain in him. Psalm 104, verse 33 and 34. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to God while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Psalm 105, verse 2, 3, and 4. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Tell of all his marvelous works. Glory is his holy name. Let the heart of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Acts 2, verse 4. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other languages as a spirit gave them the ability to speak. 1 Kings 8, verse 10 and 11 It came to pass, when the priests were come out of the holy place, that the cloud filled the house of the Lord. Notice what happened here. So that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud. Verily, the glory and the power came from God, came upon them. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16. Don't you know that you are a temple of God, and that God's Spirit lives in you? 1 Corinthians 3, verse 17. If anyone destroys the temple of God, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, which you are. Romans 10, verse 17. So faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. 1 John 2, verse 20 You have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know the truth. Verily, remember this, and God's glory will come upon you. Read this for yourself. Jeremiah 32, verse 27 I'm going now, beloved prophet Benjamin Kosainzen. You are precious in the eyes of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and also you there. The Spirit of God has spoken this to you. Behold, the cloud covered it. Number 16, verse 42. I'm going now. Ruaka, Yeshu, Shalom.